The COVID-19 vaccine has arrived in our community as part of the first phase of distribution to healthcare workers. It's important to note that eventually anybody who wants to get one will be able to get one. We'll have that opportunity. So we are joined today by Dr. Vince Henderson. He's president of Beacon Medical Group. Dr. Henderson, we wanted to ask you, who should be getting the vaccine at this point or registering, signing up? And are there any people who might want to wait? Thank you, Heidi. Most everyone in the country will be able to get the vaccine, but there are groups that should not at this point in time. If you're under 16 years of age, uh, we are not recommending the vaccine. There is a difference if you if the vaccine is for, for, from Moderna, it's under 18, Pfizer, it's under 16. Uh, but generally under 16, it's, it's, it's frowned upon. Certainly if you're pregnant, or you're breastfeeding, we do not recommend that you get the vaccine. And if you've had COVID, been diagnosed with it within the last 90 days, uh, we are not recommending you get the vaccine now, but you will later. Those are the major groups that we're talking about not getting the vaccine. Of course, if you've had any prior history of a reaction to this particular vaccine, we're not recommending it, but that would be likely because most no one has gotten it yet. Is there anything you can say about those who have had COVID in the last 90 days, why that group is, is being asked to, to wait for a little while? We think they have some natural immunity. We don't know how much. We don't know how long it will last. But we think they have some natural immunity, and that's why they are not in that top tier of those who are, we are recommending get the vaccination. Okay, that's good to know. So another topic you and I have spoken about in the past is, is about how some minority communities are less likely to decide to receive the vaccine. So I'm hoping you can also shed some light on why that might be and any message that you would have for that community then as well. Yeah, we are, we are creatures of, of habit and we are also um, uh, creatures of the past. The history that we've had in the country with experimentation and so forth hasn't been one that has been particularly a bright spot. Uh, thus, there's been some s suspicion from uh, the black community about uh, taking vaccinations. I will tell you that, that um, the group that needs to be immunized mostly in this country is people of color. There is no question that we are seeing higher death rates. And if you're a black um, American, you're five times more likely to die from COVID. Those numbers just by, just, that number just by itself should highly motivate folks to, to go ahead and get the vaccination. So I understand that, that there's concern. I would tell you the vaccination appears to be safe. I, for one, when it is my turn to get it, I will certainly get the vaccination. 